Alright, I'm going to open the 1988 Fleer. Now this was the most elusive set of cards for me to collect in 1988, which was probably, which was the biggest year of card collecting for me, or when I really got started with the card collecting. So let's see what we crack in, we get here. We already cracked in a score in Donruss. The score was, I thought, a better yield as far as the cards I was looking for. Donruss is okay. I might even just get the tops just to be like, you know what, this whole thing is just me kind of building back what I used to have when I was a kid, but in a little better shape and getting what I was able to get. Alright, sticker cards. I'll probably just give some of these away to people that I know that are fans of these teams. <coughs> Chuck Finley, Pete Incavelia, Dave Drabecki, Buckner, Mendez, Dale Murphy, and Keith Hernandez. Right now, well, first pack anyway, the Fleer is in the best shape out of all the other cards. Like the score and the Donruss had little nicks and bumps here and there in a lot of packs, but we'll see how it goes. Use Julio Franco, alright. I like DeFranco. Ripken, Trammell, and Tony Fernandez. Card. There's a card I like, I can see right now, Sean Dunstan. Got a little bit of wax on the back of the card though. Hold on. Baltimore Orioles. Milt Thompson, Rob Ducey, Chuck Crown. Gary Gaetti, the rat. George Bill, all-star card. You know, I've done I've watched a few wax pack uh, box breaks online. Everybody seems to get this card. <laughs> George Bell, our all-star. Big Steve, Danny Jackson. There's Shawan Dunstan. Just remember the shawn meter Oh, too bad. It's bent right there. Hmm. Oh, the whole card is like... It's like a factory bend or something. I'll still put it in my key pile. Figure out later what I want to do with that card. <clears throat> Yeah, I'd say with the score though, you don't have the problem with like the wax on the back of the cards, like you pull the Donruss and the tops and the Fleer, which is nice. Dodgers sticker. So, Nolan Ryan. So I'm looking for again most of the same cards. You know, guys that I collected when I was a kid. Sean Dunstan, Andre Dawson, Ryan Sandberg, you know, the Cubs. Mark Grace rookie would be nice to get. I didn't get that in the Don Russ set, and the score um, traded his, his card there. Will Clark and Mark McGuire, that's nice. And a big man. I did get McGuire and Clark in the score, but not, I didn't get, I think I got Clark in the Don Russ, but not, I didn't get McGuire in the Don Russ. I didn't get the Mark Grace rated rookie in, in the Don Russ. So hopefully we'll get it here in the flare, that would be nice. Um, I'd like to get a Bo Jackson. I'd also like to get another Greg Jeffries, like the score Greg Jeffries I got. And some rookies, let's set those aside. Alright, Mitch Williams, wild thing. Another one of my favorite Cubs. Rick Setcliffe would be nice to get too. Don Sutton, Hall of Famer. Mike Schmidt. Good looking card. Dominican Dynamite, George Bell and Pedro Guerrero. Cool. Tommy John. Yeah. Looks like the last cards in the packs are kind of getting bent. There's another one, Bill Lindrum. <coughs> Out of the 88 um, cards, you know, when I was a kid, I thought the Fleer was a premium product as far as, well, I mean, I know they're all mass-produced, <laughs> but I thought the Fleer was the best-looking set, and I still do, not all of them. Daryl Evans, here to show.
Linnae's. Ellis Burks. All right, I like Ellis Burks. Andy Velarde, Adam Peter Sickles. Al Padrique. All right, the Ripken brothers, Billy and Cal. Checklist. Seventh pack out of 36. We got 29 to go. Orioles and Braves. Masters of the double play, Sandberg and Ozzy Smith, the wizard. Alright, Kirby Puckett. That's a cool looking card. Green Ward. There's the wizard. Of Oz again, Ozzy Smith, I'll take that. Rob Dernier, Bob James, Mickey Hatcher. <clears throat> Mets, yeah, one of my buddies is a big Mets fan. Used to get on the bus in grade school and argue over the Mets and Cubs. That was a good rivalry. And then the Cubs went to the other. Well, they changed the divisions later. Eric Davis. Mets had a lot of good players. Mark McGuire. He was Ken Caminiti rookie. Blackjack McDowell. Jody Davis. Robin Young. That's a good pack. Edgar Martinez. Chili Davis. He played with the Cubs later. Alan Trammell. That's probably the best pack I'm going to run across as far as how many people are in it. Boy, that's a, not a very good picture of that guy. It's kind of faded. Again, the last pack and all these cards and all these packs is, get, is kind of bent right through the middle. I can see it again on this last card here. Obity McDowell. All right, White Sox sticker. Nice. Kenny Williams. Lance Johnson, I think that's his rookie. Kobe McDowell, yep, it's bent right across the middle again. And it has this kind of serrated straight line all the way across. A lot of the back cards have that. That must have been something with the printer or something when they made those cards. Cubs sticker, Cubs and Brewers. Nice. We got another one of those All Star cards coming. Any Turtle, he was good. Some of these cards I'm just putting aside. The guys that were good back when I was a kid, maybe didn't end up having a great career, but just that brings back that better memories for me. Steve Bedrosian, I think he had a pretty good career. Cecil Fielder, all right. Yep, Teddy Hugaria. So some of the boxes I watched online, that's all that guy was getting for the All-Star cards was George Bell and Teddy Hugaria. So that's funny. Roberto Kelly, he was kind of well known back then too. I guess I'll set him in my keep pile. Who knows what I'll do with that. Let's look at that last card. Tom Hankey. Mr. Hankey. Yeah, this one's okay. It doesn't have the line across the back. Well, it's kind of bent in the middle, though, down here. But I don't see that serrated line. <laughs> Twins, Pirates, Griffey Sr., Fred Lynn. Yeah, I don't know why I'm on the Griffey Sr. side. Not anybody really collected. He had a decent career. I mean, like, 299 career batting average. Mark Langston, he was a good pitcher in the 80s. Let's see. Yeah, three years there, he pitched over 200 strikeouts. I'm going to check this. Jim Morrison of the Doors. Don Baylor, crappy Cubs, Cubs coach, later on. Never 
like Aguilar has that mark across the back, like all the, a lot of these cards are getting. All right, Mark Grace, rookie, that'd be nice. DJ, Darren Jackson. Jackson used to do, I don't know, I, mean, I know he still call, calls the Sox games, Darren Jackson. He used to call him with, uh, uh, what's his name on TV, that people either love or hate. I always liked him, Hawk Harrelson. It was like, pretty much seemed like he would just copy whatever Harrelson would say a lot of times. Matt Noakes, he was good back then. Tony Gwynn, all right. Cal Ripken Jr., all right. Nice pack. Packersley, okay. Another good pack here. 